Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, we're going to talk this uh, tutorial about creating some inset solids. A little hard to explain, so let's just get to it. Uh, first, we're going to show you uh, drawing a little uh, kind of a square volume. I'm going to radius the corners. And then I'm going to select the top surface. And once I've selected the top surface, uh, let's radius the corners, let's select the top surface and then let's offset it and let's offset it with an inset and we're going to inset it about in this case two so that gives us a little region here and what we want to do is we're going to put a little volume in top of that with a little relief so we're going to create, that's a solid we're going to create another solid so we're going to copy that top surface once we've copied it we paste it and then we hit the i key to isolate it and when we isolate it, it all we're going to do is see that particular surface so here we go uh, paste it isolate it now once we have that we're going to shelve this we're going to do another offset uh, click on the shell command and make sure you've got the direction right. Use the same number. So we're going to flip it. There you go, flip so it goes up. There we go, done. And now if we look at this, we're going to see that we basically just created uh, another solid right exactly in the same spot. But we don't have that little relief around it, and that's the problem. We want to get a relief. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into this particular object, and I'm going to, uh, first things first, uh, let's isolate it and then let's copy this whole object. So this whole object now is on the clipboard and then I'm going to click that top surface and once I've got that top surface I'm going to go again to the, do another offset. And this offset I'm going to do an inset and I'm getting this little rim. And I can do two or one, whatever my, my gap I want to do. I'm going to leave that one at two right now. And uh, once I've done that I'm going to select, select this and give it a name. Uh, I'm going to give it, well, I'm going to call it trash here because I'm just going to use this to, to actually select this particular object when I Boolean difference it. And okay, once I've done that, I paste. I paste that original object we had in the clipboard and then we go to Boolean difference and we're going to go over to the objects here and we're going to select the trash object and now we're going to delete it. Now when we go back, you're going to see we've got that nice reveal and we've got two different objects. We've got a top object and a bottom object. So we're able to use that pretty well. So. Let's, let's look at doing it uh, a different way. Uh, we're going to create a, uh, kind of think of it as a, uh, uh, some kind of electronic box. So it's going to be tall and thin, uh, kind of like a tower, like a computer tower, something like that. And let's radius, uh, no, let's put radius not the back, we'll radius the front. Uh, front uh, vertical edges, there we go. And we're going to fill up the uh, back and top back edges. So you see that we have this kind of an interesting interesting shape here. Uh, so I want to basically do the same kind of thing we just talked about. We're going to do some different settings, but we'll take these particular surfaces and I'm going to go in and I'm going to uh, inset them. Instead of one, we're going to, or two, we're going to use one this time. Uh, now they're, they're inset nicely. And uh, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead uh, and as you recall, what I want to do is I'm going to have to copy these surfaces that we're going to use as to drive uh, our, our second solid. Okay, so let's copy and paste, and then we isolate them, hit the I key to isolate them. So I'm gonna copy and paste, and hit the I key, so now they're isolated. Okay, now again, we'll go to offset, we shell. We're gonna shell the exact same distance that we just, we, we used earlier, so that's one. Uh, and uh, make sure they get, get it flipped in the right direction. Let's take this, and again, I'm going to copy this whole sh solid, put it on the clipboard because I'm going to uh, modify it. So I've copied that, and I'm going to go in here and grab these surfaces, and now I'm going to do, as we t did before, we're going to do an offset uh, inset, and uh, we're going to use the same numbers again. This time we're going to use one, uh, offset of one, and we're going to name it A. Let's call it A. Uh, easy to select because the names will be thrown away, so we paste. What was on the clipboard, subtract A from it, and here we have uh, our new electronics box, perfectly set up, I had a different color to it. Those are all solids, so we're still working with solids, which is always good. So I hope this is uh, helpful for some of you. I, I know that uh, for me, it, uh, I use it a lot in doing some concept modeling. So have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.